the fence here today. Um, it's a nice day. It's um, early March. It's about 70 degrees or so, and um, I need some basic practice in gun handling skills. So today we're just going to do some practice, some gun handling skills practice. Today I'm going to be shooting my um, XDM 5.25 and 40 caliber. This is a gun I used when I was shooting competition, uh, USPSA. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to get some, some practice with it. It's got this nice light gathering front sight, so on a nice sunny day like today, should work really well. So here we are. We're just going to do some practice. That's all, and uh, we'll get right to it. Point seven six, four shots, split time was 0.63, first shot was point was 1.69 seconds, 1.69 seconds, let's see if we can get better than that. Oh, threw one off, I got too high. I let that front sight rise up too much. On the left target, was I had one off the target that was high. On the right target, I settled right down. 3.62. Split time 7-1. First shot, 1.61 seconds. Here we go. Right target's looking pretty good. They're all in the center. Left target, I'm drifting a little. First round, 1.64. Empty mag. Four shots, 3.04 seconds. First shot, 1.47 seconds. Split time, 0.5 seconds. 1.47 seconds is not too bad. All right, reload. Go again. This time we'll do <coughs> Three shots, one target. Okay, first shot, 1.7, split time, 0.3. 2.5 seconds for all four of those. Working on the left target here. This time I think I'll try some aim shots without the shot timer. We'll go for the head here. Just some nice aim shots. pretty good with that one. Four shots right in the head, two in the same hole, and then over left a little two more. Let's try the other. Let's try that again. We'll try a smaller target this time.
Dan likes to shoot six o'clock hold. With that nice bright dot out there, I can do that pretty well. Okay, here's the left target. You'll notice on this left target, I really was, I have a tendency to, to drift to the left. I pull the gun out of my holster, I start on the left target, and I always over pull to the left a little bit on the left target. On the right target, I don't do that. On the right target, they all ended up right there in the center square. And uh, they all hit uh, pretty center. Now, this is an anatomy target. You know, I don't know if you can see it. Three spinal shots, a spinal shot, a heart shot, lung shot, lung shot, lung shot, lung shot. So these are all good stopping shots. Because by the time I shoot the left one first and then move over to the right one, um, I've got on. I had one that I threw. Now, when I didn't use the shot timer and I was just shooting slow fire, these are two. Uh, these are the first two, that's three, that's four, right there. And then I decided to shoot for a smaller target and I started to try to shoot for this, this little round thing here. Now we're shooting 40 caliber from 10 yards out, that's 30 feet. Um, that's not too bad. Now this uh, Springfield XD shoots uh, bottom of the ball or six o'clock hold, so I'm trying to hold about right here to get it in here. But um, see, those aren't too bad, and those are nice aimed, take your time shots. These are hurry up and shoot, fast as you can, accurate as you can, uh, competition style maybe, or. Um, or personal defense style. Now, and like I say, for some reason, when I move to the right side, I always get better. Um, it was that way when I was shooting competition too. But um, so maybe this time we'll start on the right targets, target, and uh, move to the left one and see if it makes any difference. But um, this this gun can be extremely accurate. This this gun's got a great trigger, um, great sights. Long, uh, long slide. Nice gun. All right, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Shoot, reload, shoot. We won't use the shot timer. We're just going to practice a reload. Well, we'll use the shot timer to start us. How about that? Shot eight shots, 11.35 seconds. First shot was 1.75 seconds. Split was 7.9. And uh, we shot on two targets. And I actually did better that time on the left target. So I need to start on the right. That tells me if I'm shooting multiple targets, I need to start on the right and move to the left. Not start on the left and move to the right, because I always over overcompensate on the left. So start right, move left. All right, let's try that again. We were going for headshots that time. I shot four shots on the right target. Two missed, one grazed, one dead center. Four seconds. <laughs> Went high again. 
try some slow down, slow down a little. Practice some slow down shots now. I'm getting a little wild. All right, let's try some aim shots on the right target. On the head. was better. That was better. Let's try some more aim shots at that little on the right. A little target that's up in the top corner. Not bad. Okay. Here's when we were we were shooting with the shot timer, trying to get in a hurry. You can see some of them ended up pretty good, but some of them didn't. They got a little wild. When we slowed down and went off the shot timer, we got these right here. And then when we went off the shot timer at the same distance, there's two right there. One, two, three, four, five, uh, right there, shooting slow. So that'd be slow fire slow fire right there right there so and then we uh, when we shot on the timer uh, th these two right here we shot there and then we moved over here and we put these two right here so right in the spine right in the spine heart spine heart spine right there same thing here right there right there actually three there's one two three so um, you know that wasn't too bad again it tells me I start on the right target and then I move to the left target and I get better so there's the three there so we shot three or four one two three four that was the uh, shoot reload shoot seconds. First shot, 1.7. They were all on this, all in the body, all in the body. Try that again. Nine point six seven includes a reload, seven shots, and uh, split time was 0.67, and the first shot was at 1.7. I'm right in the 1.7 range for being able to pull it out of the holster and shoot it. Um, I should be less than 1.5, but I haven't practiced in a while, so this is why you practice. Four 
0.94, 1.66 out of the holster. All the shots, pretty much in the, in the gray part of the target. All of them in the gray part of the target. Did body head, body head. Let's mark it and try that again. Four point two eight. First shot, two seconds. That's it. End of the bag. We are clear. Done. Okay, we're finished with our practice session. We went through four, five, six, six magazines. Um, and uh, the, each one was 16 rounds. They were hand loads. And I hand loaded them. And uh, I, you really need to do this frequently if you're going to really get very good with your gun. And you need to do all kinds of skills. Shooting one hand, uh, two hands, uh, you know, rapid fire, slow fire, all that kind of stuff. And you just need, and also reloading, you need to practice the reloading skills. So you need to get really confident with your gun. And like I say, this one is a good one. This uh, XDM 5.25, can't get a better gun than this. And uh, home defense, competition, shooting in the on the range, uh, whatever you're going to do, nice gun. And uh, this in 40 caliber, this one's in 40, and I was shooting my own hand loads. But um, you know, this this shoots great. I even with 40 caliber, honestly, I don't feel anything. I don't feel uh, it's such a, a it fits your hand so well. It's heavy enough. You don't feel anything. And uh, and heavy 40 caliber is heavy enough to do a job. And it's also a good competition round because you can score um, major power factor with it. But anyway, that's it for today. Hope you uh, like sharing our practice time with us, and we'll see you later.